Well, good day, my friends. Bruce here. Well, we got a commercial job, and I'm, and I'm never usually that excited about getting commercial jobs. Uh, the gentleman who kind of runs the equipment for this little construction company who did my uh, landscaping, it was a lot of fun to watch that video, uh, he phoned me up and he said, can I bring some stuff over? And you know, every landscaping company that I've ever known has uh, many machines sitting in the back or upstairs or whatever that doesn't run. Because their job is to get the job done, not fool around with machines. So what, the day he called, he was going to bring all five machines over. And last year a contractor brought over five machines and those uh, two, two twin barrel, there was three, two twin barrel compressors sat there for five months while I gradually got them done. At least he was, that guy was nice enough to uh, not be, not put me in a hurry. But they were non-running machines to start with, right, at one point. So now I got it again. Blah, blah, blah. Here we go. So some of you guys might perk up. Gravely. Kawasaki engine, I think. Yeah, it's Kawasaki. There you go. Uh, weird. It's, it's kind of like the, those Toros with the spinning swivel fronts. But the back wheels won't even turn. I'm just doing something to make it look like a kit just got here, right? So, came in. This is the control for the back wheels right here. And that's broken off. Now maybe when we pull, put a little tiny bit of tension on the other end of this cable, we will, that, that will release our back wheels. I don't know. So let's just leave it on the on the lift the way it is. So it's a Kawasaki FJ180V gravely, <clears throat> but it's got a small engine. It's got pulleys and cables and gears. I think we can work on it. So right now the back tires are just locked up. Do you see that? Just absolutely going nowhere. But I was wondering if I just pulled up on that spring if it would release. Oh, it's got a, like a snowblower drive on it. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Right down there, do you see it? Right underneath that grass. Uses a rotating disc just like a snowblower. Oh, that, okay, the throttle. Yes, the throttle, okay, there you go. You see, can you guys see the wheel go back and forth? I don't know if you can or no. No. Okay, watch that baby. I'm going to move this handle here. There. And we're going to change the speed. It's not an engine speed. It's the position of that disc. There, you see it's changed right there. And it, oh lordy. And then back again. See it moving? So I'm going to just see what, if I can get a couple of covers off here. Okay, I'm going to take this back cover off of here. I've loosened the 5 16 bolts. Two Phillips, maybe. Oh, and yeah, I thought so. But I'm going to need to get at that. So, second driver. More screws, that's all. Are they Torx? Oh. Okay. Good. Maybe this will be the last one. Lordy! This is just like working on a snowblower. Now we can see more. I'm going in first. 
Well, I'll be right back. I just wanted you to see me take that cover off. Hello, my friends. All right. So down there, that drive plate that you see, turn that again, behind the light, right there, that's fixed. And that, that drive wheel goes up and down, which gears the wheels. And then it has to open off by moving up so the gears aren't permanently engaged. So I have to play with that cable with a spring on it. I think it's engaged in the lock position. So when I, just, so you, just so you guys have an idea what I'm doing. I'm going to put you back over here on your perch. Turn you off. Yes, so I got this off, which was on, I got this off, which does have the squeezy clips, right? But the cable is toast. It's frayed a bit. But I have a little ball like that. But the big thing is now, when I did that, this moves up and down. So in the down position, it goes nowhere. But in the up position, it releases the wheels. You can see. Whoops, we have freedom. Just exactly like a snowboard. So I think that if I can get, get a cable, first I'm going to lube this up so it's not so nasty. It's just a, all that is is a go. Yes, all that does is pull up and down. Against the spring from here and a spring from here. And that's something, eh? All right, so right now I'm just going to do a little lubricating. No, I missed it. <laughs> oh, the whole thing is, I can go from this way. Ooh, I just shot the lens of the camera. Okay. So I think we're there. So now, before we get too crazy on the cable, make sure we're in neutral. I want to get the engine running. That could be another issue. All right, we're there, guys. Except for making up a cable, which I can do. So I'm just going to put some gas in the uh, tank. Or I'm, first of all, I'm going to do oh, baby. I'm going to disconnect said gas tank. There we are. And uh, we're going to see what we have going for us. JIS screwdriver. This might be fun. Oh, is, there a, is there a drain on that guy? There is no drain on that. Dirty butter. Okay. Pliers. I got these little red hat and pliers from my mother. We're going to have to use needle schnoz. Starting to get too much stuff out on the benches already. By the end of this job, it'll look like a. There it is. Okay. Just turn that a little bit more. There, now I can get a hold of it. my micro right hand on pliers. And we're going to disconnect this gas tank. There's something there. That should work. Is there any gas in that bad boy at all? Well, it looks like water. We'll go till it comes clean. But being as there was uh, water in there, that means the carburetor is going to have water in it. 
So we're gonna take that off of there. And it looks like it's a little, 11 or, it looks like about a 12. That's a Japanese carburetor, so it will be Inside the carburetor, contractor machine. Remember, oh, the, that's pure water. It makes you wonder sometimes if you have a clapper, right? Okay, I'm gonna turn you off. This jet doesn't look too bad. Okay, the bowl won't come off. Thank you, Jim, from Not Too Fast for You to See. That's a small hammer. Oh, it's just on a little drain. Oh, it's for the primer. There we go. Yeah, it's full of scudge. Okay, regroup. I'm going to just clean this bowl and primer and I'm going to stick a wire up the uh, emulsion tube. Heard some thunder. Yay! We need moisture so bad. It's funny. We're here where I live. It's out on the prairies, but east of the Rockies. And uh, you go three weeks without rain, and then you get rain for three weeks. And right now we're at, a, at the end of a dry spell. I mean, we're talking, you know, I mean, really, we're talking popcorn fart dry. That does not look that bad. Now how about this? This looks... This looks like a Makuni. No, it, it might... I don't know. But you know what? We're lucky it's not... It's not clogged. I'm going to get a little piece of wire from my kit. I carry a little piece of MIG wire in here that's absolutely perfect for said operations. Hang on. Isn't that thunder a beautiful thing? No, I guess a 22 gauge wire will work. Okay, I got the jet out with this up into the... This was in the carburetor, this piece right here. And then I, I have... Another subscriber sent me this. And when you want to take the jet out without removing it from the carburetor, you push... You've only got a little tiny bit of space between the bottom of the carburetor and the bottom and the top of the deck, and you can use these to turn it out. And it never even made a mark on it. And it's clear. So that tells me that we might be okay, but I would love to get that emulsion tube out of there just, just because. But it looks like it's a little more fiddling around. So I'm just gonna put that jet back in there and hope for the best. Thank you. Okay, I'm trying to keep you involved. I just took the air cleaner out. And now we're going to see if we can prime it just a little bit. There's the carburetor right there. I'm going to lower it a little bit. We just want it to bark, right? Better make sure it's got oh, lubrication. Yeah. Okay. So now, stop, go. Want it to bark. Come on, girl. We dragging anything we shouldn't be dragging? What about neutral? Ah, uh, now we're getting some hail. Good. Well, she's turning a lot of stuff. I just got my garden in, huh? <laughs> oh. 
As long as there are little hails like that, we'll be alright. Oh! One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Hope you heard that. Five seconds away. Coming at us. Okay, I'm just trying to get a, a, the engine to fire on this guy. Forward so I don't hit the truck. There's a lot of levers and who's it, eh? I'm almost tempted. Yes, I am. I'm going to take that off of there. Looks look like tens, do they? So the engine's metric and the machine is not. I'm going to stick a big drill on this bad boy. strong enough to do that. What size is it? It'll be metric. Probably 17. Yep. So a 3 8 adapter to drill. Oh, that's a half inch. There's a 3 8 I'm losing my mind. Okay, so i got to pull this off if it fires, right? Spark too, eh? Well, it looks like there's even a little bit of water on the plug. That's kind of sad. So I'm going to shut you down, get reorganized, and come back. The handlebars are clamped. I've got the plug out. And I don't think that's gas coming out of there, guys. I think that's water. I've got this plug, the spark plug in here, and it has a spark. So we'll just Oh, we'll leave that hang. What the heck? So now I'm going to put some, uh, I hope you saw that, uh, carburetor spray right into the cylinder. We're going to put that spark plug back in there. So probably suck some water into the, into the carburetor and then into the cylinder. check on you. I know you guys come last, right? Whew. I bet you the pâtés are drooling over this machine. fire on this engine. We got about an eight turn. <coughs> Perfect. Okay. So the bar is tied. I have to make sure we're in the up position on this gear selector. And uh, I'm going to do it from over here.
Okay, my friends, this is the uh, this is the cable that's being bad. It's a bad kid. And I've got my super squeezer little funnel here. And I'm going to just try and stick a little bit of... Come on, get in there. Loosen all. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Into this cable. Can you see this little tiny funnel here going into this cable? I'm just going to pour a little bit in there and see what happens. It went in, I think. Is it drinking? It's coming through the other end, guys. So that's a start. Then I'm going to blow it through with air. Oh, it's drinking good. So I'll be back now. You obviously know what I'm trying to do. The other end of that is stuck. The cable's rusted inside. Okay, guys. Neither Mick Moores or I spend money on cables anymore. We just use our imagination. So this is the bolt end, handle end of it. And I'm just going to see if I can screw this onto here. Because I unscrewed it from the old one. Hmm. Oh, I got an idea. Hey, hey, hey. Double knot. Two halves, tighten it up. One. Two. Wrench it. I'm going to try and screw this onto here. going. Mm, not going. Okay. Cut that off. I've got a little bit of extra. Okay. So we can't do that. So can we drill that or just place it? I'm going to drill it a tiny bit. Oh, I've got to have been a better idea. Oh, idea. Help me, idea. I just want to be able to get on that. Uh... So that I can slip the wire in, right? And then crimp it, or glue it, or... That was nice. All right, back on the uh, Gravely Arians power drive. It took about just under a liter of oil on line. It says 1.48 liters. So that's kind of a lie. So I'm just piecing the uh, cover back on. These little devils back here. That bolt there and that hole over there. Do you see that one? Nope, I can't. There it is. They're back above that one, underneath the spring. And I am just trying to get those carriage bolts into there so I can get the cover on and uh, go mow my neighbor's lawn with this for the test. Okay, I'm going to take this cover off. Oh, not with that one. Good. And I might have to do some kind of a hokey fix on that, eh? This thing's been roughed up. 
Now it's still surging the tiniest of amounts. Because around here I can't get parts for this kind of thing very easily, I'm going to uh, just see how it does after I heat it up. So let's get it off the... Let's just make sure it starts. Well, it walked right out of the picture. So I hope I can put something together on this video, guys. Okay, guys, I am basically finished this uh, gravely Arian's thingamajig, but it's I, I did to clean the bolt uh, the bolt jet on the carburetor, but I did not actually take the carburetor off and clean it, and it is still uh, too hard to start. And because it's going back to contractors, they're gonna just yank the heck out of it. So let's take this carburetor off of here. Now I don't know how much of the assembly I have to take off. I think I'm going to have to take the rewind. Good. Well that wasn't bad. Now let's get this carburetor off of here. Good. Well, that was easy peasy, baby. There, now you are. Okay, so I just removed the carb. Did it pick up any more schmoo? Nope. Let's get the... Uh, we're just going quick here, guys. We're not, uh, you know, this is dark and dirty here. Oh, water! See that? If you look real close now, right there, do you see that little thing sticking up there? There. Cool, eh? Let's blow those out of there. All right, so I got it all. I got her sort of previously assembled, and I wanted to just make sure that this uh, right. bleed hose is working. All right, 12 millimeters that direction. Good. All right, so let's just hook this up. I'm just going to put it on the same way I took it off.